Hey Gypsies, welcome back to my channel. I can't figure out if this is better open or closed. I feel kind of dark here, but how about that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe halfway. I don't know. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today with a Dollar General haul. I had not been to Dollar General in a while. I am in the car, so this is a car haul. I am beside a highway. This is the only shady spot I could find. It's like three o'clock and I just needed some shade. So the sun shining down is definitely driving me insane. Okay, so I have a Dollar general hall like i said have not been there in a while and i'm like let me just go look and see what they have and yeah i got some stuff i did so first off my husband had me get him some snacks which you know that was part of it so i'll show you what i got him and everything but yeah i got some stuff so anyway i'm gonna start out with these this is in their dollar section my family absolutely loves it whenever i make dinner if i serve it to them like a hamburger and fries in in one of these bad boys you would think that i'm like the world's best mom ever because they feel so special. They love it that much. I'm like, last time I just got one of them. And I've been meaning to pick up some more. But like I said, I have not been back in a while. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab two packs of these. For a dollar, you can't really beat it. You get six in here, which is perfect for a one-time, you know, meal for everybody. So, yes, I had to get those. And they are just called snack trays. And it's just like if you went to the Burger Barn or the Burger Boy. Like when I was growing up, it's called the Burger Boy. And order fries and stuff and, and a burger they come in one of those so yes so I grabbed that and dollar each I'm gonna take prices on everything some of it is not as cheap as I would have liked uh, yeah this right here though this is the wizard this was a dollar it's the wizard Hawaiian Ho Hawaiian retreat scent it looks like that Hawaii what, it, what Hawaiian something or other I, I don't know what it smells like it's these beat first of all it's really cute it's just really super cute and I'm like you know what let me just grab this I want to see how it is I want to smell it first off see how it smells because I love that it's Hawaiian breeze that I love so I'm really hoping it's gonna smell like some Hawaiian breeze so let me see hold on I'm like, for a buck, I'll go ahead and try it. Put it on the back of the old commode, you know. You know how we do. I might put it in my, mine in my husband's bedroom. He'll be like, what well, smells so good? Hold on. Uh, come here, please. Okay. Oh, yes. It smells like that. It does smell like the Hawaiian breeze. So, that's great. Okay. So, I barely cracked it. But, anyway, can't beat that. Okay. Next, down that same aisle, was this right here. And I thought this looked really, really cool. So this is the Spa Luxury brand. I don't know how good that brand is, but this is Moisture Rich Hemp Body Cream, enriched with pure hemp seed oil. And there's what it looks like. And hemp, and today's 420, so what a better day to buy hemp lotion, you know? I mean, seriously. So anyway, it says the power of hemp seed oil, and it tells you on the back, like, what all. It has, like, vitamin E, C, B1, B2, B3, and B4, protein, nutrients, carbohydrates, fiber, and key minerals. I mean, do I eat this or put it on me? I'm not, I'm kind of unsure now. I mean, like, how many carbs does your lotion have, right? That's kind of weird. But anyway, there is the back of it, but yay! I thought that looked interesting, and I'd like to know what it smells like, actually. Hold on. Mm, right, oop, hold on. I'm going to smell this. I will let you guys know. Was not sealed up. It smell. It smells like ivory soap. Uh, totally. I even used ivory soap last night, so when I took my shower, so that smells like ivory soap, which is not a good. Sm I mean, which is not not a bad smell. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite smells, so that's cool. And then I just got this right here. This was a dollar. It's just a drinking glass with a little handle. I love these. Actually, I get these for my husband. Like every night at dinner, he wants his chocolate milk, and like our cups just disappear, guys. It's like our spoons and forks and stuff so we needed a couple more I wish I would have got two of these for a dollar because these are so I love the blue I absolutely love that blue and on the front it says 
ice cold drink, um, glassware, some quality glassware, but it's super duper cute. So I'm like, let me go ahead and grab one of those. And then I got that, this, this was $4, but I absolutely love these colors together. I'm thinking, I'm going to see how it is. Uh, basically, do you see this solar thing right here? It's actually fairy lights down in here. So the solar, you set it out in the sun or just in the daytime and then it charges up. So at nighttime, you have your solar lights that'll come on, which... It's not charged up right now, but anyway, and then they go down in here, just like a fairy, make sure this is off, just like fairy lights in a jar. And they off, they had a blue and green one, like a blue that went down to green, which was really, really pretty. Um, it says preserves on the front, so I thought that was really pretty. And these colors, these are just like gypsy boho colors to me, just the purple and the red. So I went ahead and grabbed this, and we'll see. I'd love to put it on the shelf like behind where I film, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but we shall see where I put it because I absolutely fell in love with that. And I really kind of wish I would have got the blue and the green ones. So I know the other day I had got some spoons from the Dollar Tree and you get two for a dollar there. So you get three for a dollar at the Dollar General. So I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and get a little set and a big set. So here's six more spoons. So yeah, that'll be... We needed them. We just needed them. They just, I don't know. The Spoon Fairy, I guess, just gets them and yeah. And then they had this little cute thing here. This for my, whenever I do do the 4th of July day shelf, I will put these cute little, this cute little thing on it. It has a, the, the little flag is just cute the way it's set back in there. Can you see that? And it's just, you know, basically it's a rock but it's a really cute just the way that is set up there it'll look really cute on a fourth of july shelf as well and then i got a little bit of makeup um and these are all kind of throwbacks to when i was younger and i'm like wow like you know first off the foundation i'm using right now it's horrible like i hate it like every day when i put it on it just seems to cake on my face i don't know if it's old or what the deal is but i'm like i really need to get some new foundation and this right here is an old standby it's always been a good foundation i love it this is the covergirl clean matte in creamy natural that's always been my color creamy natural and it, it probably doesn't smell like Noxzema, but I'm going to look, I'm going to smell just to see because like that would really be a throwback. I loved, I, I used to love, just love that so much. So fingers crossed that it smells like the old, you know, that smell, that smell. It does not. So <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. This was, I think $5. So yeah, creamy natural and we'll see how it does on my next makeup application okay and then here's another big old throwback this was five dollars as well it is the great lash yes in the pink did it used to be pink and green because i saw some pink and green and i'm like no they don't look right so this is in the blackest black color and this is definitely uh, you know an 80s that's when i was using this 80s great lash and then here's another thing this is um it's the it says since 1935 original formula air spun loose face powder so this was six dollars it even says on the bottom here but i used to use this stuff all the time just with a big um like a powder brush to my face like after everything was said and done because I'm almost out of face powder right now and then when I saw this I'm like I'm, I'm just hoping it has the same smell that it used to because it used to have like a smell that would take me back you know like if I smelled it let me just see it smells good but I can't tell look at this oh it even has its own little face this its own little here I'm gonna peel this up and see see if I can smell anything it does it does it smells really good and yes so this is an old-timey face powder I think I always remember fighting with those lids as well so this was six dollars but th this right here will last me a really long time once I start using it so there is one of my bags and let me 
me go ahead and show you what else I got. First off, I got a set of sheets in the Dollar Dollar General. I started to say Dollar Tree, but they were twenty dollars. But I fell in love with these sheets, and I'm like, they really take me back to when I used to spend the night at my grandmother's house. Like this reminds me of sheets she would have had on her bed. And do you kind of get the um, the gist now that if something takes me back to my childhood or teenage years, I'm pretty much going to buy it? Like, there's something up with that, right? But here's the sheets. They are from Cabin Sundays. Cabin Sundays. And it's a four-piece sheet set, of course. It says Ultra Soft, Soft, Easy Care, machine washable and I told Jack who was with me at the time I said if these are queen I'm totally getting these and they were so can you just see the print like isn't that absolutely gorgeous I love it usually I'm just like a dark purple dark gray you know dark sheet set dark red to match my comforter this is not gonna match my comforter whatsoever but I gave in I just look look how they look on the bed just look at them like that just reminds me so much of spending the night with my grandmother. So, I loved it. And then, here's something really cute they had just to hang in the kitchen. It says, eat well, love much. And this was a dollar. So, I love this really nice thick piece of um, jute twine on here. And I just love the shape of it. It's a perfect thing to hang in the kitchen. So, I just thought that was super duper cute. And then these, they had these utensil or wooden spoons basically. And these were a dollar as well. So let me just show you how gorgeous these are. So they have like this right here. For a dollar, I'm like, I'll throw out my old ones like and just replace them with these. It has like the burnt, like they burn that on there, you know, just to keep it looking that way. This one's a little bit light, but that this one was the darkest one that they had. So for a dollar each, I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and get these because, because they're fabulous. I would so much rather have something super cute than something plain. So yeah, I'll get rid of my other ones, okay. And then I just grabbed this for my hubby. He likes the Reese's with pretzels in them. Um, I did get him some of those in the mini, but this, he's been looking for Reese's with peanuts in it, and I have not seen any, so I don't know if he meant actual peanuts, but this one actually has the Reese's Pieces in it, so I thought I'd give him the, get him those and just let him try those out and see if he likes those, so we can't find the ones with peanuts in it anymore. I don't know where he got those. And then I got these for, these were $3. These are from Kiss, and it's the French Manicure. I have not had French Manicure nails on forever. Like, it's been a really long time, and I'm absolutely loving them. These are the medium lengths. They also have the short, uh, but I want a little bit longer than the short. So, I love them. When I take the ones I have on now, I'll be putting these French tips on. And yeah, it's been a really long time, but I remember I used to wear those constantly. And then I got this right here. This is from St. Ives. It's called Glowing. Actually, I couldn't really see that well in there, but I know it said watermelon and I knew I wanted it. It's, it says it's new. St. Ives Glowing Oil-Free Face Moisturizer in watermelon scent. This was $6 as well. But, I'm going to go ahead and smell this because I have got to know, like, it says, helps maintain glowing skin, um, quickly absorbs with no greasy feel, which is important, non, make sure these doors are shut, non, some, won't clog pores, basically, uh, oil-free, made with 100% natural watermelon juice. How cool is that? And it says, fun fact. Spending time with nature has been shown to give you an instant boost of happy. So that's kind of cute that they put that on there. But let me see this. I just want to see if it really does smell like watermelon. Because I'm going to be really bummed out if it doesn't. Because that's the main reason why I got it. So let's see. Oh, M G. Wow, it smells so good. Here's what it looks like. I know it's probably a little dark. It's a real, real light pink color. 
Oh my gosh, it smells fantastic. So it's definitely going to smell like watermelon and like that's that's good for good with me because that's definitely why I bought it. Okay. And then this right here is just, I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. It says gather together and I absolutely love the looks of it. Look at that. Look at that old wood look. Look at that print. Actually, this would go really good with my sheet set, like just to sit in my room. If my room wasn't already totally, yeah, hold on. Okay, so anyway, look, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And the, the wood look of the sides, and here's how it opens, and then inside, is the, here's what it looks like. It's just super duper cute. I love it. It was three bucks. There's the bottom. It was three bucks, and I absolutely love these kind of boxes. They are very good keepsake boxes. They didn't used to have super duper cute keepsake boxes like that, so... Anyway, my hubby told me um, if I would to pick him up some snacks for his nighttime snacking rituals that he does at 3 a.m. But yes, so I got him those rice or the rice krispies, those um, peanut butter cups, Reese's with the Reese pieces in them, and then I got him three bags of these right here. It's just the Reese's miniature cups with pretzels. So I did get three bags of these and there's not that many in there. I was hoping to find like a big bag and just get him a big bag, but they just did not have those. And then he also asked me to get him some Doritos, which these are from the devil, okay? They, that MSG in here almost took me out last time I ate them. So like those do not tempt me in one little tiny bit because that's not for me. Like, that stuff will just totally take me out. And then, last but not least, he told me to get him some cheese dip. So, I got this Chi Cheese. Oh, it's a mild Chi Cheese salsa con queso. And I know this is going to be good. I think he usually gets another brand. So, I'm really hoping that this kind is okay because I couldn't find any other brand except this one. So, the Chi Cheese is always a good brand for like salsa and stuff like that. So, I figure it'll be fine. I mean, how could you go wrong with that, right? With Doritos dip in it like yum this sounds good anyway i just want to say i'm done i'm done just want to say i'm done um that is all the goodies i found and that was way too many goodies that i found let me just say um so anyway if you're not subscribed to my channel guys please consider hitting that subscribe button and hit that bell button so you'll be notified when i upload new videos and um yeah um, if you don't mind, leave me a comment and hit that thumbs up button. It helps my channel out when you do that. So I would just appreciate it. Okay, guys. So that is it. Thank you for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.